It is the end of an era. Today is the last day for Elmhurst High School. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Pat Hoffman. And I'm Tara Brantley. Elmhurst High School students are walking the halls and sitting in the classrooms they know and love for the last time today. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper has been following the story for us and joins us live from Elmhurst with a look at their last day. Chris? Well, Tara, it looks like an ordinary, quiet day here at Elmhurst High School, but it's not. The school, in a couple of hours, will close and lock its doors for the final time after being open for 79 years. Let's go ahead and take a look back to show you how we got to this point. In March, Fort Wayne Community Schools announced its plan to close Elmhurst. It was part of $15 million in budget cuts. Later in the month, hundreds of people sounded off on the decision at an emotionally charged public meeting inside the high school's auditorium. On March 22nd, the board approved the plan to close Elmhurst, effective at the end of the school year. Since then, a group trying to save the school filed a lawsuit against FWCS, and two weeks ago, we introduced you to junior Chelsea Doyle. Chelsea will begin her journey to Northside High School for her senior year. Of course, we'll continue to follow her along the way, and later today, you will hear her raw reaction to her school's final day. It's also important to note that senior class from Elmhurst will graduate on Friday. Throughout the day, we'll be here at Elmhurst High School bringing you the latest on what's going on outside the school. I'll have live reports from this school at 5 and 6 o'clock. Reporting live at Elmhurst High School, Chris Hopper, News Channel 15.